Okay, so I got a lot of packages in the mail today, and I figured I'd make a video about online shopping. Um, I want to say I'm addicted to online shopping, but I'm not addicted to online shopping. I'm addicted to getting little packages in the mail that I prior, I prior, priorly, priorly forgotten what they were. So it's like a poor kid on Christmas. Yeah. Like, you know what's in the package isn't really all that badass, but it's still, like, surprise of opening something or whatever. So, um, I guess we'll start with eBay and Amazon. Um, so eBay, pretty much, I shop a lot on eBay. eBay is just, um, you know, a hub for, um... A middleman for private sellers. I buy and sell stuff on eBay. I've sold thousands of dollars worth of stuff on eBay. Um, if I buy something relatively cheap um, that I know is worth way more because it happens a lot for me. Um, I find things that are stupidly low that I don't necessarily want but I know I can make a profit on. So I'll put it on eBay, start the bid at whatever and then you know let people um, decide what they want to pay. Now, eBay isn't always the cheapest place you're going to find something. For example, um, I wanted to buy some deodorant in bulk. I was looking at the price, and this is the deodorant that I use. Power Stick. Now, you can buy this stuff at uh, Family Dollar. Dollar Tree, I'm sorry. Not Family Dollar. Dollar Tree has it, and it's a dollar. It's one dollar at the Dollar Tree. I think Walmart has them for a dollar or a dollar fifty, but if you go on eBay right now, someone's selling this same deodorant for like six, seven bucks. One one seller wants like six, seven dollars for it. So just because it's on eBay doesn't mean it's the cheapest. But lots of things you can find depends on what you're looking for. You gotta look around. Um, now that's eBay. So now, like I said, it's just a a third party offense, if you will, for other people to sell their goods. eBay doesn't sell anything. They don't. They just middleman the transactions, and then um, you buy from private individuals. Amazon. I bought a few things from Amazon. I just bought a, a wireless keyboard uh, from Amazon. Um, I believe Amazon is like eBay. They they're a a hub for other sellers also they sell their own products so if you look on their website or their app it says it'll tell you who's selling it if it's sold by Amazon or somebody else and say if it's sold by somebody else a lot of times Amazon will still be in possession of the product and ship it to you from them that's why like you can buy stuff you can check out a, an Amazon order in your cart and have like three different items that you can plainly see you've bought from three different sellers, but they'll all come in the same box. So Amazon like facilitates, holds their products, and I mean obviously then the seller would, Amazon would get a cut. So unlike eBay where it's like 10%, eBay gets 10% of something I sell, but I have to have it. eBay's not gonna have it. Where I think, don't get, I mean, don't quote me, but I think uh, with Amazon, like, I'll be an individual seller of, say, Nike tennis shoes, but I have 100,000 pair of them. So I'll leave, those will be stored in an Amazon warehouse, and when I sell a pair of shoes, Amazon will get a certain cut of that and then ship it from, from their warehouse. Um, I don't shop on Amazon a lot for the simple fact that since people that sell on Amazon, that Amazon holds their products, obviously charge the sellers more, so the product costs more, if that makes sense. So a lot of things that, I, that I'm shopping for, um, I shop around. I shop around extensively, and the stuff that I'm buying and things that I buy are usually, when it comes to Amazon or eBay, they're just cheaper to get it from eBay and then have the private seller you know, ship it to me. Um, another site that I like a lot for certain things is Wish. Now, I know that Wish gets a bad rap. There's a lot of videos on YouTube. Dog and Wish products, this, that, this, that, this, that. 
first off, if you think that you're going to purchase uh, the newest iPad or a $5,000 drone from Wish, pay 10 bucks for it, and it's going to be amazing, then you're kind of, you deserve to get what you pay for. When it shows up and it's junk, then you kind of deserve that because whatever. You're just insane for thinking that. My biggest shopping thing on Wish is stupid stuff that even Chinese people can't mess up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my ears are gauged to one inch. These are metal um, and the back screw on. I paid like $2 for these. Those are metal. These came today. 25 millimeter, that's an inch. Um, plugs. I got tons of these. Here's just metal. Here's some blue latex. Um, and then I got a bunch of plugs. Different colors. Black, purple. White. You see them all. So, anyway, if you go to a tattoo shop and buy metal one-inch plugs or even acrylic with a design on it like that, at a tattoo shop, you're going to pay 15 20 bucks a pair. Wish, 2 bucks, maybe a dollar and 3 bucks shipping. Those are metal, 2 bucks. I got these today, like $1.50 plus like 3 bucks shipping. And then these... All the different color ones, I paid like, I think 12 bucks for what? 10 pair different colors. So, like I said, you're going to pay 15, 20 bucks. I bought um, this little Serenity Prayer bracelet. If you can see it. And it's got the Serenity Prayer. I paid like two bucks for that. No, you do that right so, certain stuff, I mean, um, beard care products um online you're paying like ten dollars an ounce for oil 15 bucks an ounce for like butters and balms um for beard oil i go to family dollar and uh in the section where they have african-american hair care products you can find good like argan oil or moroccan oil or olive oil and then just put that in your beard and it's the same because I've bought $20 beard oils. And you know, for like 20 bucks for an ounce versus you can go get Moroccan oil or olive oil oil or tree oil for like four ounces for like two bucks. And then the, the balms and the butters, they're like 15, 20 bucks for an ounce. Well, it comes in a little jar, it's an ounce. Or you can get coconut oil in the, the African-American hair care product aisle. Oh, bye and bye. this is 12 ounces and I paid two bucks for that. And it smells like coconuts. So, I mean, you just gotta shop around unless you have money to waste. Uh, another thing is I vape. So I've had this mod like, I think I got it in October of 2019. So when this came out, it was like $120, the Mag P3. Um, it was 120 bucks at the store. If you would have went to the vape shop, a guy it was like 120 bucks. I ordered mine from Hong Kong, paid fifty dollars, free shipping. Had to wait a month, but I got it, and it's identical to the store brand. You know what I'm saying? It's smock authentic. Auth authentic they come with a little sticker on the inside the little scratch off proof of authentication um vape juice you go to the store get a 100 milliliter bottle of juice for generic junk stuff you're gonna pay 20 bucks this is sad boy a pretty known well-known name brand you're gonna pay 25 30 bucks for this i buy mine online at eliquid.com and I got two bottles this size for $27. That's with shipping. So $27, bucks, I got two bottles. The other ones. The other, one? the other one's right there. So I get two bottles at a time for the price of what I'd go to the store and pay for one. So um, 
my kid's book bag. He's had that since Christmas. A marshmallow book bag. I think I paid like four or five bucks for that. You're not going to find that in the store for four or five bucks. Um, tablet covers. I paid like five bucks for that. You're not going to find a tablet cover case for five bucks. Um, but that's with anything, though. I have um, a JBL. This JBL. That. JBL Extreme. That's like a $250 bluetooth subwoofer i paid like 60 bucks for that now that was a private that was a private uh seller um i found i went online and found um the jbl um, the link view i don't know if you can see in there the jbl link view you can find that on sites for 300 bucks 250 300 bucks um that's brand new i uh, haven't even opened it yet i paid 100 bucks for that um I have some high-end earbuds. When they came out, they were a thousand bucks. Or Sennheisers. Um, when they came out, they were a thousand bucks. Most places online, you can find them between like two fifty, two hundred fifty to five hundred dollars for Sennheiser um, IE eight hundred earbuds. Um, I paid like sixty for mine, brand new. They're not here yet. They haven't arrived. Um, I'm going to do a review on those when I get them and probably post a, a link to where I got them for other people. Um, but yeah, I get tons of stuff like cheap and even the stuff that's not from from private sellers, private individuals. Um, just go online and, and look around and price compare because I'm telling you right now, you can go online on, on Amazon and you can see a product. They'll even use the same pictures for the item. They'll have the same item on Amazon that someone's selling on eBay. And you can go over to Wish and see the same item, the same pictures and everything. Same description. You can just tell they copied and pasted it. And on Wish, it'll be like 5 bucks. You know, on, on uh, eBay, it'll be 20 25 And then Amazon, maybe 25 30 35 whatever. Because, you know, and then you buy it from Amazon. I guess they got good customer service and they ship fast people have prime accounts you pay extra for a prime account and you get like free two-day shipping so i mean if you want to pay extra for stuff because you need it in two days then that's you know that's what you do me i'd rather pay you know 80 percent off and wait a month you know because all they do the amazon sellers and ebay sellers what they'll do is they'll go on places like wish and they'll find these like backdoor bootleg or you know i don't know if they're selling stolen products or because i mean in reality the stuff doesn't cost that much to make so somehow or another they have a hookup and then like i would buy it from them and then i sell it on ebay and then i can get it shipped to you in five days so i'm going to charge you 60 bucks but i bought it somewhere else for like five bucks i had to wait a month but you know what i'm saying and then it just sits in my house and i sell these things and it just and makes you money like people all day long you can sell these and they come brand new in a pack like this with the upc i tore that off but it comes you know brand new you can sell that all day long for 10 bucks and that's what they do on ebay or, or whatever um five bucks even if they're selling them for five bucks like i paid two bucks for that so if i'd have ordered 50 pair and post them on ebay for five bucks a pair 25 millimeter, the bigger you get, the more expensive your jewelry gets. So, like, in, in, this, in metal, like, if you go to a tattoo shop, they're going to charge you 15, 20 bucks for those, if not more. And they bought them the same place I bought mine, and they bought a box full of them. And now they're selling them to you because you don't want to wait 30 days. All right, well. I will review those Sennheiser earbuds when they come in. Um, but yeah, for people that want to save money, just shop around. Shop and shop and shop and Google the hell out of shit. And, I mean, there's no sense in paying 50 bucks for something if you can get it for 10, right? I mean, if it's your money. I mean, if you want to spend 50 bucks on something that costs 10 bucks, you're probably one of the people that buys my stuff off of eBay and allows me to make money. So, I mean, if you got the money to give, that's great. 
Like, I'll sell you all kind of overpriced stuff. <laughs> um, but for me, I'm going to buy, I'm going to get the deals. So, all right. Peace.